This presentation covers the application component of the structure of the atom, that is lasers. You are required to know the components of a laser, how it works, and some useful applications. Uh, the term laser is actually an acronym and it stands for Light Amplification of Stimulated Emission of Radiation. There are three main components of a laser, that is the active medium, uh, the pump that supplies the energy to the tube, and the components that allow it to be amplified, and we'll go through those in detail. There are many different types of laser, however the one we'll be looking at in this course is the helium neon laser. Now the mixture of the gas is predominantly neon, but um, the addition of about 15% helium gas is vital in the operation of the laser. The pump is the second component we'll discuss, and this is the energy supply. So an electrical discharge uh, consists, consisting of a large number of electrons traverses the tube. So these electrons actually collide with the helium atoms um, in a process that is more efficient than the neon atoms and raise the helium atoms to a higher energy level. Uh, the helium atoms then transfer this energy to the neon atoms. The diagram at the bottom of the page shows energy levels for helium on the left and neon on the right. Now what we can see in this diagram is that the helium has an energy level, level 1, that is very close to neon's energy level 3. It is difficult for neon to get to this level 3, which is a metastable state, um, without the help of the helium atoms colliding with it to raise it to that energy level. Now for stimulated emissions to occur, we need the energy levels uh, to be in a metastable state, which means that they're there for a slightly extended period for um, stimulated emission to occur. And this level three for the neon is that metastable state. The third component of the laser is the tube, which consists of a full mirror at one end and a partial mirror at the other. This allows photons to uh, bounce back and forth through the gas mixture, stimulating the emission of more and more photons. Now what this does is it allows the reinforcement of the photons and the waves and ensures the waves are in phase and coherent. Um, the length of the, the tube uh, also promotes certain wavelengths and restricts the build-up of other wavelengths, so it's designed specifically for this purpose. Listed on this slide are um, some properties of laser light. Now, a few of them may appear the same, but they're specifically different. So the properties are the beams can be of very high intensity, uh, meaning they stay bright over large distances. They're monochromatic, meaning the laser light is of one wavelength, unlike white light, which consists of multiple wavelengths. It is unidirectional, uh, meaning that the laser doesn't diverge much, um, and the beams are co coherent, meaning they stay in phase over large distances. Now some important safety items about lasers, uh, they operate with electricity, so normal rules about electricity um, in terms of safety should be applied. Uh, lasers can be damaging to the eyes, especially with the eyes, our eyes having lenses that focus the beams even further. Uh, can cause great damage, so uh, avoid lasers shining in your eyes, reflective surfaces, um, and also have a well-lit room, and what this does is also related to your eyes, is it uh, reduces the size of your pupils, so it's uh, less likely that the laser light would uh, uh, get into your eyes. So there are many applications of laser light and more and more uh, being developed every day. So previously in our course we've talked about laser airborne depth sounders, uh, CDs and laser printers, um, but uh, other applications include uh, barcode scanners, um, welding um, applications because of the high power and high intensity of some lasers. Um, we can use lasers for scopes, for rifles for example, um, and they can be used for measurement uh, as well, such as the measurement device used in the bottom of this uh, slide presentation. Uh, lasers can also be used to clear blood vessels in people's eyes due to the great accuracy and control that you can have over the laser light. Uh, 